Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Mary Chris, and for today's video, we're going to unbox and try on and review Bretman Rocks Bait in Paradise palette. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited, so let's open it up. First of all, look at this beautiful packaging. This is my first time getting a palette from Morphe. I did order a um, brushes from them with the recommendation of Patrick Star because I am I'm an avid YouTube watcher. I love YouTube any any time during my spare time on on YouTube, and so yeah, and I'm so proud of Bretman Rock. He's Filipino American. He lives in Hawaii. Hence the beautiful tropical uh, design so let's open it let's take it off out of the ooh, the bubble wrap oh I'm sorry I'm sorry and there's the brush and I saw on his video that this is a natural bristled brush because he said that because natural haired brush do pick up product a lot easier. So there it is. And then let's look at the actual palette. Let's open it up. Ooh. There's a plastic bag, plastic that came out. Ta-da! Ooh. This is Baby Girl Vacation Mahu Get Laid Chihu and Shady Beach. And inside it says, Aloha, mahalo for supporting your fave babe in paradise. Growing up on the islands gave me a diverse perspective on life that I want to share with you. I hope this palette captures the essence of paradise beauty. Bye, bitch. Batman Rock. Okay, so let's do some swatching. So, let's get to swatching. These are the colors. It's six shades. The first one is Baby Girl, which is a described as a pearlescent pink there there's baby girl and the second one is vacation which is this one which is described as iced champagne sheen there and the next one is mahu which is gilded gold there's mahu gilded gold i'm probably gonna like that one the most yeah Ooh, i hope you can see it i'm gonna try i'm just getting started in this youtube gig so please forgive me if my swatches are not the greatest of life next i'm just cleaning my hands with my wipes because i actually got wipes this time this is get laid this one which is described as peachy pink sheen get laid the laid is a Play on words. It's spelled L E I. You know the lay, the flower. Ooh, actually, I think that's the one I'm gonna like the most. We'll see. We'll see. These are just swatches. This one is Chi Hu. This one. This one. Chi Hu, which is a soft rose sheen. Oh, that sounds really good too. That's. Chihu, and last but certainly not the least, 
a shady bitch. Let me just clean my hands. You don't want any cross contamination. They're shady bitch. Oh, that's another. Let's see. Oh my gosh. It's not going to work as a highlight for me, but that looks like a really, really nice for the eyes. Okay, so there you go. Let's try that. Baby girl, vacation, mahu, get laid, chihu, and shady beach. I'm just looking to my left I have a cheat sheet so there you have it that's the swatch and now we're gonna go try it on I'm going to try to use it as as much of the shades as I can so let's go oh I don't know if I showed you guys but it also came with this highlighter brush uh, fan brush which is natural brushes and he decided from what I saw in his video he decided to have a natural brush because it picks up more product and that's true just that that's just the nature of natural brushes so we'll see how it is and let's get started okay so what I'm gonna do first is where's my brush is I'm just gonna get some crease and I'm using the Patrick Star Mac Patrick Star palette Glam AF I'm let me just put a base on all over I already prep my lids we're just gonna make this as quick as possible and I'm using the brush that I got from BoxyCharm, BMX-430 Crease Brush. Just gonna put that all over for base, but I did, again, I already did prep my lids. I'm just gonna clean that up. And let's use this one as a crease shade. Uh, the, da, 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 it doesn't, oh no. This is Brulee, the one that I use all over, and this one is Saddle. Yes, Saddle. Just, it's just to add to my crease. This is gonna be super easy. Oh my gosh, I just got a mirror from Amazon, and I was supposed to use it for now so I can see what I'm doing, but of course I forgot. Rookie mistake, rookie mistake for next time. And so I just kind of did that. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm not going anywhere, but I just want to try it out because I'm not a makeup artist. And so I'm gonna, I want to make the most out of my book, you know? So for, my lids i'm gonna try baby girl because i want to see how it works on that lid oh 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 there's fallout four four out of all the shades for me the highlighters this is the chalky one, but you know what? That's really cute though. That's cute. That's cute or whatever, as Bretman Rock would say. Okay, so that's nice. I wish I had a mirror. I'm sorry, guys. But that's nice. Okay, next. I'm going to try. Um, you know what? I'll just try it for both. Just try it for both. Let's just maybe it's my fault because I had some fallout because I didn't tap as well as I should have. Oh, but that's really pretty though. 
That's really cute. Just clean that up. Aww. That's like a nice spring eyeshadow look. And that's really nice. Okay. Next. Uh, for my highlighter, I'll because I want to try as much as I can. So, uh, which one? Ooh. Let's try. No, this has a pinkish sheen. Soft rose. You know what? I don't have a soft rose highlighter in my collection. So let's try that with a clean brush. Okay. Let's try that again. Is it just my lighting? Oh, ooh, uh, hold on. Ah, maybe this is too deep for me. I think so. Yes, this is not a good. Oh, okay. I don't have my. You know what? This is not. This is too dark. For me, let me, just clean this brush. This is too deep for my tone. It looks like a bronzer. Okay, that's fine because I can use that as an eyeshadow. Okay, you know what? Let's try with Mahu. Mahu is gilded gold and gold. I have yellow undertone. So gold really looks good on me. Oh, yes, that. There we go. Ooh, there we go. That's too high. There we go. Oh my gosh. Okay. I just did it too high. Let me just let me just let me reposition. Ooh, that's so pretty. Okay, guys, last time I forgot wipes and now I forget forgot a mirror. I should have a mirror because Anyways, it doesn't matter. Blah, blah, blah. But look at that. That's really pretty. Oh my gosh. I think that's the one I'm gonna use. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Okay. Actually, let's try... Vigation on the center. Let's just clean it up. And again, I forgot something. I'm using a just a clean paper towel to clean it up. I forgot my switch swatch. It's like the black thing and you clean. Never mind. Anyways, vacation. Let's try it. Yeah, that definitely Chihu is too yeah. Too dark. So let's try vacation. And let's see. Oh, that's cute. I don't really usually use a fan brush for a highlight for my nose. I prefer a thinner um, brush because I just like that super snatched look. But, but that's nice. That's cute. Uh, let's try to cover that up with get laid oh no let's clean let's clean the brush to have a accurate representation okay let's get I think this too is gonna be too dark for me and I will use them I'm not in frame and I will use that for my eyes instead I can do that now just for shits and giggles That's nice, that's subtle. But definitely uh, this one. Ah, just gold just really suits me the best. So. And also right now, I'm in my winter shade. I get a little bit lighter in the winter. Oh, let's do inner corner. Let's do inner corner. I want to do Mahu. I'm obsessed with that. 
Yes. Oh, yes. And I'll be right back. I'm just going to put some mascara on and then I'll share my thoughts. Okay, guys. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, guys, I'm back. Of course, I didn't end up finding my eyelash curler and the other one I gave it to my cousin so I, I couldn't find mine. So I just quickly put some, a single coat of mascara. I didn't want to look so ashy, dusty. Anyways. So here are my final thoughts. Do I like it? Of course. I don't regret buying it because I want to support my fellow Filipinos out there who's doing great things in the world. And recently I've just been doing a lot of research and not only purchasing from you know, Filipino influencers because I got the Patrick Star collection for Christmas. Thanks, babe. I also want to support other Filipino entrepreneurs. And I think that's really important. And when a big brand collaborates with a fellow Filipino, I want to support that because our money can, you know, our when we purchase something, it's a vote. It's a vote for that product. So for example, if I purchase a vegan item, the company saying, hey, there's a demand for this or for healthier items, products out there. And same thing with makeup. I wanna see more, not just Filipinos, but people of color, having collaborations with brands and you know that showing them that they are marketable and they can make money for them so they can bring in more other people and be more inclusive representation matters so anyways um some of these shades are obviously not gonna work for me as a highlight but i will be using them because that's really pretty. That's really pretty. Because I'm on and off with cool tones. I feel like it sometimes it doesn't work so much. But this one, that's really nice. And it, But this one, the formula is a little bit different than the rest I find. It's not as um, creamy. But that's okay. It's It still works. And um, if... You want to support Bretman Rock or you want to have a nice highlight palette or you're a makeup artist. I'm not a makeup artist. I'm just a makeup enthusiast and supporter of, you know, fellow, fellow YouTubers. Uh, yeah, so if you're a makeup artist, this would be really good for you, but maybe if you know you don't really know what if you can use all of it because that's a lot maybe don't buy it i don't know it's up to you that's just my take on it because i know it takes it's gonna take a long time my justification for this is he's filipino i wanted to support and i decluttered a lot of my highlights so i can buy this so I'm not going to be buying highlights after this. Like, this is it. So, and even after I declared it, I still have a lot more left. Or just a few. I will check my collection. But, yeah. So, check it out if you want. And that's my review. That's my take. And I'm so excited. I can't wait to play with this more. And I think that's it. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe if you want, if you like what you see. And give it a thumbs up because that makes me happy. <laughs> and comment for
future uh like if you want to comment uh, i'm gonna cut that so guys subscribe oh gosh i'm gonna cut that i'm gonna cut that i'm gonna cut that so guys this is it that's my final thoughts on this palette do i recommend it yes is it as necessity no makeup is not a necessity if you can find that or find ways to use the rest of the colors that doesn't really suit you then do it if you're a makeup artist yes go get it um but yeah as i've said before i've decluttered a lot of my highlighters and gave it away to my cousin so i can purchase this so i can justify purchasing it so yeah that's it that's the end of the video and if you like it please hit that like button and if you want to see more please subscribe and comment if you have any ideas of what you want to see in the future video and yeah this is not gonna be just just a disclaimer it's not just gonna be a makeup channel i want to do mukbangs in the future i want to put makeup on my friends and family and i want to do vlogs so i have so many ideas of what i want to do and thank you for joining me in this journey because this has really helped me out a lot anyways thanks again and i hope i see you next time bye bye i don't know why i did that but bye